Greetings and salutations everybody, Lord X here coming at you once again with a brand new comic shop pickups video. That's right, it's my time of the week where I show you just what comics I picked up and what collectibles I may or may not have picked up. Here's a spoiler, I got three extras today. One from a comic book shop and two from a actual card shop that sells nerdy collectibles as well. But anyways, I have five different comics to go over here today. And we're going to kick things off with the Marvel side of things. Uh, I've only actually read, read one of the comics here this week. It doesn't have any dialogue, so bear with me. I, I'm doing this rather quickly before I go out and see Ant-Man. But anyways, let's begin. First Marvel comic I picked up this week is issue number one, The Secret Wars tie-in. It's Guardians of Nowhere, and I have the Gamora uh, variant cover here. So this is what has happened to the Guardians of the Galaxy since the whole, you know, universe was basically destroyed. Oh yeah, there you go. Nowhere. It's apparently the only thing floating out in space in this new uh, Marvel universe. Next up, and I'm not going to spend much time on these this week because, again, I'm seeing Ant-Man. Uh, we have issue number two of Captain Marvel... And the Carol Corpse. Keep hearing great things about this series. I still haven't read the first issue yet. I plan to. But yeah. There we go. That is uh, the first issue of this one. Next up. We have issue number three. Of Secret Wars Battle World. This, uh, this series has been quite good so far. I am really looking forward to reading this one. And I'll probably give my thoughts on it next week. But yeah. Battle World. Issue number three good stuff from that series so far so I'm quite looking forward to seeing what that has to do uh, what stories that issue has to tell because uh, in Battle World they've been talking about like side stories in the whole new world that the Marvel characters are living in uh, next up we have the uh, Ant-Man Annual I'm not even going to bother to describe it or build it up, build it up. it's Ant-Man Annual number one it's out this week because Marvel planned it to be out by the same time as the movie, so. Really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading this. The new Ant-Man series has been really, really good. And the final comic I have here for this week, and holy shit, it is hot around here. And that is, well, it's even hotter than this one because it's Godzilla in hell. This is as crazy as you might think. Godzilla goes to hell and is wrecking destruction in hell and fights a Godzilla hell creature or hell Godzilla in this issue <laughs> there's no dialogue whatsoever it's all artwork but oh man this is awesome and I would highly highly recommend that anybody go watch or go watch go read read this issue because it's a wild ride I tell you what IDW good on you for uh, putting out this book Way better than the video game that came out, from what I've seen, anyway. Alright, with that out of the way, it is time to dive into the collectibles I've gotten this week. First off, I got one of these DC Super Heroes Mystery Minis. These are actually fairly hard to come by now. Sold at the uh, card shop, I found them there. So I figured, why the hell not, I'll pick one up and see what I get. I've had three of these before, and I've gotten Power Girl... Harley Quinn and Deathstroke. So, here's hoping for a rare, perhaps? Hopefully not somebody I already have, because that would highly suck. And we have gotten ourselves... Ooh! 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 Holy shit! Holy crap! Before I show this off. These are the possible characters that we can get. And as you can see, there are a few here that are one of 72. Those being uh, the Reverse Flash and White Lantern Batman. I just opened up and I got White Lantern Batman. That is fucking awesome. That is absolutely great. I am astonished that I got this guy. This is friggin' awesome. 
luck was with me today. <laughs> ah, somebody's like shining a light down on me today after you know opening up three sci-fi ones and getting three ETs. This is redemption right here. This is so fucking cool. So fucking cool. Alright, so with that out of the way, uh, the other thing I picked up at the car shop, going with the Ant-Man theme, I've got Yellow Jacket, I've got the uh, Collector's Corpse Ant-Man and Mini Ant-Man. So today I picked up Normal Ant-Man. Who is really cool. I love the design and attention to detail on this guy. So, there you go. There's the side art so that you can see him. The back, I have both of them now. And again, there he is. And the final thing I picked up this week at my comic book shop it's a PX Exclusives or Preview, PX Previews Exclusive. And that is Rocket Raccoon wearing Revenger garb. It's kind of hard to see it there, but he is in a different uniform. And has a bigger gun, I believe, than his normal counterpart. So yeah. There we go, I got another Rocket Raccoon. You can never have enough Rocket Raccoons in your life. Just saying. But folks, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Sorry I didn't have anything to really say about most of the comics just haven't got the time to read them right now but i thank you so very much for tuning in i've been lord x you've been awesome he is white lantern batman and i will catch you next time